now i'm going to show you what electronics we're going to use uh, these are the electronics Two four five zero kV motor, a six inch propeller, a thirty amp ESC, and a three celled lipo battery. Hi guys, I'm back. It has been 24 hours and uh, the glue has dried out and we have removed all the masking tape. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, solid. And uh, now we're gonna do the tail portion. And uh, for this, we're gonna use uh, 5 minutes epoxy. Tupu, uh, I would tell you one thing. Before you gonna stick tail on the aircraft fuselage, what you need to do is you need to strengthen all these control surfaces. Uh, they might this hinge might loosen up. So what you need to do is you need to strengthen this part. So always remember you need to strengthen the ailerons, elevators, rudders, all these parts. Yeah. For the best uh, hinge performance, I would suggest you use some kind of tape, fiberglass tape or a fiber filament tape, which is locally available in the market. I'll help you out to stick it uh, this tape on that one. Mama, now that now that the hinge lines are strong enough, let's uh, uh, go ahead and stick this onto the fuselage. Okay, so let's uh, assemble it here. So let's see how does this goes. It goes like that. I think, and it comes like that. Now, what we need to do is we need to first tape the horizontal stabilizer, vertical stabilizer together. Yeah. Then we'll tape it on the fuselage. Okay. Okay. This 5 minutes glue is little uh, dangerous to small kids and it activates very fast. You have to use an equal amount. Guys, as you can see, the 5 minutes epoxy has worked really well. It is rock solid and also we have these control horns which are provided in the kit. We have also sticked it with 5 minutes epoxy and we have sticked it in the placements they have provided in the rudder and the elevator as you can see over here and here. So it wouldn't break for a very long time. Now I'm going to show you the wings. As you can see, we have done the same thing on the wings. We have reinforced the hinges using fiber tape. We have attached the control horn with 5 minutes epoxy and reinforced it with fiber tape. And we have done all of this on the back side so we can stick stickers on the front side. These are going to be the stickers. You can also see that they have provided two push rods in the kit. And they have also provided two pipe-like structures that go in these two slots, this and this, which are each for the elevator and the rudder. Uh, you, can, uh, I'm gonna use one for the elevate, uh, one for the elevator, which goes over here, and one for the rudder, which goes over here. Now I'm gonna show you what electronics we're gonna use. These are the electronics, 2450 kV motor, a 6 inch propeller, a 30 amp ESC and a 3 celled LiPo battery which is 2200 mAh. 
we have uh, we have also attached the, the uh, connectors and the x mount and also the prop adapter i'm going to use a 9 gram metal gear servos for all the control surfaces aileron elevator and rudder and uh, this is locally available this is how it looks and uh, now let's assemble it now we're gonna assemble all of the electronics and my mama is gonna help me in it Tapo, whenever you are working on an elevator, make sure you put give the elevator maximum deflection when you are flying the model for the first time. People uh, are afraid not to do maximum deflection, they wanted to do minimal, but I would suggest you to do maximum deflection. In the control horn, you have to put it at the bottom position. This linkage stopper, this gold color uh, pin which you see here, this is called linkage stopper. If you put it at the bottom, close to the surface area, mm -hmm. then you will get the maximum deflection. Okay. And coming to rudder, we are go we need a, a medium deflection. So what we are going to do? We are going to install it on the middle of the control horn. Okay. Yeah. Mama, these 9 gram servers are not fitting in the slots. What should we do? If your servos doesn't fit, what you need to do is you put it at the exact approximate position, make a line, and on that line, you try to cut off that material. Servos are connected to Y cable and all of the arms are ready. Now I'm gonna plug this into channel 1 and check it with my remote. Now we are going to attach the push rods for the ailerons the same way as we did for the 
uh, elevator and rudder. Tupu, whenever you are uh, using a push rod for ailerons, make sure uh, in the three holes, always put it in the middle hole or the top hole. If you do it at the bottom hole, your uh, throw will be more so that uh, new beginners will not be able to control the aircraft properly. I would suggest to put it in the middle hole or the top hole. Okay? Okay. We have connected the push rod to the middle stage. Uh, now we are going to check the servos, servos and the ailerons. Now I'm gonna check all my surface controls, motor, rudder, elevator, ailerons. So Tupu, you have assembled whole of your aircraft now and uh, what is the only part which is left behind? I think we have to put the canopy yeah. which goes here. Yeah. And for the battery, I think we need to put some Velcro on inside the aircraft. Yeah. Now important thing is left out. What is that? Stickering. You are excited to do stickering as well? Yes. Okay, let's do stickering and let's go for flight. Yeah. Guys, finally stickering is done. My sky surfer is now ready. I can't wait to see it fly. Now I just want to see how does this KV motor sound. I'm eagerly waiting to fly this. Let's see you while flying now. 